Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Gold Rush Hall of Fame autographed jersey. It's a multi-sport edition here. Six box case, random player break number two. We sold 20 spots. Everyone gets six random players from this list right here. All Hall of Famers. It's pretty good. So that's a total of 120. So we sold the 20 spots. So let's multiply this by six. There's one already. Two, three, four, five, and six. I've got all the players right here as well. So let's roll it, randomize both lists. One and a five, six times, names and teams. Names and players, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. So there's the 120, there's six times. We've got Steve Wright all the way down to Brian Croft. All right, now let's match you up with a player. One and a five, a Hall of Famer. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. After six, we got Brian Trottier down to Walt Frazier. All right, now I'm going to try to save my voice a little. I'm not going to read off this entire list here. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the list as is, and then I'm going to alphabetize by your first names so you can see what, what group of players you have. But just to get this on wax, just get this on the recording in case you want to audit the uh, alphabetizing. There's down to Brian Croft and Walt Frazier. All right, so now let's scroll up to the back up to the top, sort by column A alphabetically. And so Bennett, there's your group of teams right there. Brian Croft, there's your group of teams, including there's Walt Frazier right there. You also have Last Spot Mojo, OJ, Tom Glavin, Juan Marichal, Robin Yount, Terrell Davis, and Earl Campbell. Brian Dunn, that's your group of teams. Jimmy Brandt, Jim Murray, Karen, Michael, Nick, Nick Stober, got a lot of players here, PJ, it's a group, good group of players, Ryan Carlson, Steve Wright, and Willie, William right here. There you go. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And uh, maybe, uh, and I can also help you look at your players again during this trade window as well. I will be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. So no deals were done. So the list you saw on the previous screen uh, remains the same. The case is right here. So let's pop this open. And we'll uh, you can kind of see in the background right here, we'll pull one jersey out at a time. And let's see what we got. One autographed jersey per box. Most of these are probably custom jerseys, but pretty nice stuff. Nice, good luck everybody. Uh oh, Lions going with white pants today? These lions are lions are probably going to win now. All right, who are you? Oh, I know who you are. All right. And of course, these are all Hall of Famers. All right, I am a uh, running back. 6'2", 210 running back, went to USC and was drafted in the early 80s. My career ended in the late 90s. Played for two teams my entire career, was a Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, 
an NFL Most Valuable Player, an NFL Offensive Player of the Year, a Comeback Player of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, six-time Pro Bowler, two-time NFL Rushing Touchdowns Leader, a National Champion, a Heisman Trophy winner, career 12,243 rushing yards, 123 rushing touchdowns. I even got 587 receptions for 5,411 receiving yards, 21 receiving touchdowns. Who am I? I think Jesse got it. I think I heard him in the background. USC early 80s, got to give it away, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, some scrub, right? Went to, I, didn't, I forgot that he, he's a Southern California guy. He was born in San Diego and went to Lincoln High School in San Diego. Then went to USC. Drafted in the early 80s. There you go, Mike Tower. Marcus Allen in his Raiders colors. All right, so there's the familiar number 32. There's his autograph there. The Beckett sticker here. And there's Allen right on the back. I think these are all custom jerseys, so they don't have the officially licensed stuff on it. Ooh, what a big throw and catch for Jared Goff. Yeah, it has the number on the sleeve, but I think these are these are custom jerseys, so you're not going to have the officially licensed NFL stuff on there. You know, just have that size tag right there. It's all good. The uh, Mitchell and Ness would be licensed jerseys. These are non-licensed jerseys, so they they won't have they won't have any of the NFL licensing on it. Mitchell and Ness are authentic jerseys. This would, it would make the break a lot more expensive too, considerably. Uh, who is Marcus Allen? That's going to be Nick Stober. With Marcus Allen, congrats. Mark this, write this down for the shipping team here. Uh, this is, today's the 20th. All right, congrats, Nick. Good start. Yeah, I mean, Mitchell and Ness would be considered authentic simply because they've got the official licensing. And then game used would be another would be another level up from that. But game used jerseys are a, lot, a little bit more difficult to find. Just need this right here. All right, next box. All right, good luck. All right, next up. All right. They're all Hall of Fame. These guys, all these guys are pretty, pretty good. I think people should get this person right away. Um, 5'11", 232 running back. Out of Texas, drafted in the late 70s. Played for two teams my entire career. Ended up with 9,407 rushing yards and 74 rushing touchdowns. I was an MVP. I was a three-time Offensive Player of the Year award winner, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year award winner, a Heisman Trophy winner, three-time rushing yards leader, two-time NFL rushing touchdowns leader. I was pretty good. Pro Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame. These are all Hall of Famers. HOF edition. Um, from Tyler, Texas. Should give it away. Hmm? I do. Oh, you do? No, it's in, it's in the other. Uh, no, I think it's in the main room. No, because I've got a break coming up. You can do it after. Uh, Barry Sanders wouldn't be late seven. Yeah, there you go, Darren. Earl Campbell. Corrected himself. There's Earl Campbell's autograph. He's got good penmanship. Yep, the Tyler Rose. Tyler Texas should give it away. Almost every time. There's the Beckett card. 
There's the HOF inscription. Do we got a Beckett sticker on here somewhere? Oh, there it is up there on top of the four. The Beckett sticker. There's the Campbell on the back. All right, yeah, and then another, another custom jersey. All right, so Earl Campbell, let's see who gets the Earl Campbell. Congrats to Brian Croft. That's one of his last spot mojo spots. Gets the Earl Campbell. This is jersey break number two. We've got another one in the store if you're interested. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We can run it back. These are pretty fun. All right. Yeah, I think Quintez Cephas just, just scored. He had a big catch and then he got a, got a touchdown. So early score for the Detroit Lions against the Green Bay Packers. All right, next, Hall of Famer. I'm gonna put the names of these players on here, so if I don't know the players. Let's try this, let's try the Google machine. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so we got a we got a, we have a hockey player. Let's see if we can pull up some stats. So hockey fans, get your thinking caps on. Um, he is a 5'11", 190 goaltender. Caught left, currently 80 years old. He's still with us. Uh, Canadian. Played for three teams, two NHL teams, my entire, and then the Cleveland Crusaders. Play from 1961 to 1980. Play for the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins. So think of your, uh, like what years did he play? This is his Bruins jersey, by the way. Played for the Bruins in the late 60s, early 70s. And then with the Cleveland Crusaders for a little bit, WHA. World Hockey Association for four seasons, then came back to the Bruins um, mid-70s to the early to the end of his career, 79-80. There you go, TJ. Yeah, I, I think, is it Jerry Cheevers? No, TJ, your first guess was right. This is Jerry Cheevers in his Boston Bruins colors. There's his number right there. There's his autograph. Nice. Yeah, D. Porter. Como's got it too. There's his Hall of Fame inscription. There's the JSA sticker and the accompanying card. So let's see who gets this Hall of Famer here. That'll be for. That'll be for Steve Wright. with the Hall of Fame goaltender. <laughs> TJ only guessed him because he had him in a break on Saturday. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, he's still with us, Darren. Still with us. Has yet to shed the mortal coil. All right, next one. Basketball player. All right, who am I? Listed six seven one eighty. 
basketball player from Detroit, Michigan, went to college Eastern Michigan, drafted in the mid-70s in the third round, back when they used to have three rounds in the NBA. Played for the Pontiac Chaparrales and the Virginia Squires, but I'm most known for, um, for playing with the San Antonio Spurs between 74 and 85. And then with the Bulls for a season, then in Italy, and back to the States in some non-NBA teams right there, but there he is. Nine-time NBA All-Star, an NBA All-Star game MVP, five-time NBA All-NBA All first team, four-time scoring champion. My number retired. I'm a Hall of Famer, college and pro. Um, I think this, the player that I'm, the modern player that I'm often compared to is Kevin Durant, I think often gets compared to this guy. And I think if you're able to find some old highlights of this guy, this guy's pretty good. He's got a pretty popular poster that some of you old school guys may have had in your rooms back in the day. There you go, Mike Tower. Yep, it's George Gervin, the Iceman. He had, that, he had that famous photo shoot where I think he was sitting in an ice chair, right? And then was holding two ice basketballs or something like that. There you go, the Iceman, George Gervin. All the old school guys have good penmanship here. There he is. There's his autograph. There was no texting back then to ruin handwriting. There's the Hall of Fame inscription, the JSA sticker, and the card. This is also a... Yeah, I, I didn't realize he, he, went, he went international for a little bit, too. Yeah, this is another custom jersey, so no official licensing stuff, but pretty nice. Yeah, he, he went to Banco de Roma from 86 to 70, 87. I think he didn't play in the NBA after that. I think he went international for a couple seasons. All right, the Iceman, George Gervin. Ryan Croft with another jersey. All right, a couple more to go. to go here. Good luck everybody. <laughs> this is this is indeed America's favorite game show. No one's ever done this game before. All right. Who are you? We have a football player. Oh, okay. Hall of Fame football player, 6'5", 230. Played for two teams my entire career. Uh, two Super Bowl champions. Two-time Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP a five-time MVP, a two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, a Comeback Player of the Year award winner, seven-time first-team All-Pro, 14-time Pro Bowler, a three-time passing yards leader, a four-time NFL passing touchdowns leader, part of the 2000s All-Decade team, the 100th Anniversary All-Time team, Hall of Famer, Pro Football, College Football Hall of Famer, um, three-time NFL passer rating leader, two-time NFL completion percentage leader. Uh, let's see. I have a total of 71,940 passing yards, 539 touchdowns, and 251 interceptions. Uh, he also, I don't think this is on his Wikipedia page, but he also has the distinction of uh, having the rookie interception record. So I think he's looking for one of the quarterbacks this year to maybe break that record. Zach, Zach Wilson maybe, Trevor Lawrence perhaps. Not Aikman, not Montana. Drafted in the late 90s, Darren. Not Favre. 
There you go. Mark, David B. Yep. Eli, or not Eli, Man Peyton Manning. Eli doesn't have 71,000 passing yards. Peyton Manning, number 18. The Sheriff, this is Colts colors here. There you go. There's Peyton's familiar autograph right in the middle of the eight. There's the Fanatics sticker here too. Manning on the back. Ooh, this is a, so here's the difference right here. This is an authentic jersey, uh, officially licensed jersey, even better. So let's take a look at it. Uh, Peyton Manning. Let's see who he goes to first. This will go to Nick Stober and the sh with, with the Sheriff. So there's the NFL logo right here. Nice. So nice, simple jersey, nice and clean right here. Still have the retail tags attached to it. You got the Nike swoosh on the uh, shoulders. You've got a uh, the NFL shield right there as well. Nice, Nick, I'm gonna fold this nicely after the break, but congrats. All right, and the, the final one. Oh, that would have been too easy, Darren. If I said his favorite target was Marvin Harrison, that would have been way too easy for who am I. All right, final jersey. Who do we have here? We got a couple inscriptions here. And we have hockey. Aaron Jones, rushing touchdown. Game's tied. Or after the extra point, it should be tied. Um, I was going to say retired hockey. These are Hall of Famers. They're all retired. 58 years old currently. 5'10, 184, goaltender, caught right. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six NHL teams my entire career, Canadian. And was an eighth overall pick in the early 80s by the Edmonton Oilers. I feel like he's pretty good. I don't know, the Wikipedia page doesn't give me too many stats here. Oh, awards? Six-time All-Star, first-team All-Star team, 1982, one, two, three, four, five Stanley Cups. Wow. And a one-time Vezina Trophy Award winner. He has five Stanley Cups. 84, 85, 87, 88, and 1990. Yeah, that's right. Mark and uh, David's got it. Grant Fuhr. What, were those all with, what teams were they? Oh, so 84 to like, oh, those were Oilers years? It's pretty good. There it is. Grant Fuhr is going to go to Nick Stober again with the Grant Fuhr. Got all sorts of things happening here. You got the JSA and a Beckett sticker. There's his uh, Vizina Trophy inscription. There's the Stanley Cup champion inscription. There's the Beckett card. And there's his autograph right there. You got Fuhr on the back. Played with this kid named Gretzky. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good team. And this is another custom jersey, so it doesn't have all the official licensing stuff on there, but it's got the nice colors and everything. Still pretty cool. I think the custom jerseys are even better for uh, better for framing because you're not covering up any of the officially licensed stuff. Thanks, everybody. That was a 2021 Gold Rush Hall of Fame autographed jersey. It's a multi-sport. If you want to get into that, we've got another case in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.